Aquarius, go, 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 go. Aquarius, go, 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 go. <laughs> Hello, Aquarius, my fellow Aquas. How the freak are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a good week so far. Um, you, are, you guys already know. This is where we're going to take a look to see what kind of lunatic may just come towards us this time. Keep in mind, it's Mercury retrograde. So this is when a lot of creeps and a lot of freaks like to come out <laughs> and they like to, you know, try to um, BS their way back in their in our life. Okay, so let's stay woke. Let's stay woke, right? Anyway, so Aquarius is going to be another general reading, right? Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like this does not resonate with you, please feel free to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs, okay? Um, and as usual, Clarice, please do not forget to like this video for me, please, guys, okay? It really does help with the algorithm for us creators. So thank you so much for liking if you always like when you watch. So let's get into it. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, this can be completely reversed, by the way, okay? All right. I'm gonna pull the cards first and then we're going to pull the charms, okay? What is coming towards Aquarius in love, angels? What do you have for Aquarius in love? Aquarius, 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 Aquarius. Let your friends help you and romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, Aquarius. So. You could definitely be um, having, you know, catching feelings. You got the love bug, right? Or someone got the love bug for you. But maybe some of you have, you know, some supportive friends or maybe close family or something like that to where you can confide in them and to talk to them about, you know, this is someone that you should pursue things with or not, okay? So that's just for some of you, okay? Aquarius. Let's see what we got. Aquarius. What do we got? What do we got? Aquarius. What is coming towards Aquarius in love? What is coming towards Aquarius in love? What is coming towards Aquarius in love? The garden, life purpose. What is coming towards Aquarius? <clears throat> And you also have reparenting yourself. Bottom of the deck is compatibility. All right, so you and this person generally are compatible, it seems, okay? But someone may need to mature or um, reparent themselves or something like that. Maybe this is something that they've needed to do. This could be someone from the far past, right? But bottom of the deck, um, bottom of the deck, I'm so used to saying that's right. <laughs> Macchiato got me going crazy. Well, yeah, reparenting yourself, okay? Life purpose is here as well. And you have the garden. So garden definitely talks about opportunities available to you. So a lot of you may, you know, see that you have a lot of options in your life during this time, okay? You're gonna be like, damn, motherfuckers coming out the woodworks and shit. X is coming out of the woodworks and shit. So, all right, so here we go. Aquarius. Who is Aquarius dealing with angels? Who? Who is Aquarius dealing with? The Aquarian Collective. Who are they dealing with, please? Who is Aquarian Collective dealing with? So Aquarius, you have K-E, Kelly. <laughs> There's a lot of E's in here. Emmanuel and Rike. <laughs> There's a J in here, someone who may do music. There's love here. A whole lot of hearts here. There's a cat. There's a lot of tree of lives here. There's like four of them. Um, you have A, strong A, strong E so far. Strong H, there's G. There's one T. Um, there's a D here, okay? You have a star here. And B as in boy and a P as in Paul. And an F, very interesting. Oh, and a Q, interesting. So let's see what the freak is going on. Spirits, what the freak do you have for Aquarius in love? What is coming towards Aquarius? 
and love. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's a whole lot of Ace of Cups showing up. All right, let's see the overall energy. Six of Swords reverse, Aquarius. Um, someone may be making a U-turn, Aquarius. Someone who may have um, walked away from you, they could be coming back, okay? Six of Swords in reverse can also indicate um, a lack of progress. You feel like you're not making much progress with one person, possibly. Maybe you're going to move forward towards someone else. Um, the Six of Swords reverse can also talk about someone who still has some baggage to work through. This could be emotional, financial baggage, you name it. Mental baggage. What is coming towards Aquarius and love? What do you have for Aquarius and love? What is coming towards Aquarius and love, please, Aquarius? Ooh, Aquarius, what the freak? What's coming towards Aquarius and love? So you could definitely be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. What's coming towards Aquarius in love, please? Aquarius. Ooh, Aquarius. Okay. Something's going on here, okay? This person, although you have romantic feelings for them, I feel like you had to place some boundaries with this person, Aquarius. You may have cut this person off, or you will, because I feel like, Aquarius, this person may be involved, Okay. You know, I'm going to keep it all the way real. You are feeling defensive against this person. You are placing firm boundaries against this person um, because of some information that you have found out or you will find out. Ace of Swords. Okay. This is the truth. Okay. The blunt, honest truth. Okay. Um, this is, you know, a breakthrough information, very unexpected information. And it's funny because the Seven of Swords falls right underneath the Ace of Swords, okay? So someone's definitely been, you know, not very honest with you, Aquarius. And that's why you may block this person, okay? You feel as though they're moving a little, a little funny, okay? <laughs> you got the Queen of Pentacles reversed. But the thing is, with the Queen of Pentacles reversed, it indicates that someone is settling. They may be involved, Aquarius, but they are not happy where they are. This is someone who is maybe codependent. And that could be why we've seen the Six of Swords reverse. This is someone who needs to leave a situation, but for X, Y, Z reason, they cannot. Okay. Um, and I see you kind of, you know, cutting this person out of your life. It's either you're doing that or you're not going to invest too much. You're going to keep your distance, especially your emotional distance. I don't think that you want to get your feelings too involved with them because you just don't know what the hell is true anymore, even though they're going to tell you, but how the hell you know that's true, right? Um, yeah, this person may definitely be married. You have a lot of women here. doesn't have to be woman, but we have Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, the Empress, okay? The hangman is in the reverse. You do not see this person any kind of other way, okay? You are sticking to these beliefs that this person um, is a liar or they're lying to you, okay? So it's going to take a lot for you to change your mind about this person. The six of wands is here. They put you on a pedestal. They feel as though you are who they want. You are who they want to win over. You are, you know, the prize, okay? Okay. But at the same time, you are keeping your head held high because you know this is not something that you deserve. You want the whole thing or nothing at all, okay? The Six of Wands is here. I feel like, Aquarius, you are going to um, be getting a lot of attention during this time, okay? A lot of people who want you, you can afford to be picky is what I'm hearing, okay? Because you got your shit together. You are showing up as the Empress, okay? Some of you may have children. You may not, but... Um, like I said, I feel like you know what you deserve with the Six of Wands, Aquarius. And I feel like this is the person that you really want for some of you, okay? But you're going to control yourself and keep yourself distant and detached for now, okay? 
this person has a whole lot of feelings for you with the king of cups um but they cannot really act on them or do much until they leave this situation aquarius okay king of cups is showing up here so their feelings for you are very very deep and they they do want to express these feelings and they will they will um speak their hearts okay tell you how they're feeling about you but i feel like you're not going to take it and run with it you're going to say okay well thank you for telling me that right but i gotta keep my distance from you right with the nine of cups you see could be a leo but you're holding back um so the signs I'm picking up here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus being the stronger one of those earth signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay, you or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you may be, um, you may have any of these signs in your chart. This is kind of very similar to Gemini reading. So if you have Gemini in your chart, go check it out. Or if you're dealing with a Gemini, go check it out. Either way, go check your girl out. But yeah. So <laughs> you have the strength card. You are very attracted to this person. They are very attracted to you they um but they feel they need to restrain themselves and you feel like you need to restrain yourself you're like you know what i'm gonna have to resist you okay as much as i want you i'm going to have to resist you so this person is thinking that the as much as i want aquarius i have to resist aquarius okay because i don't want aquarius to get caught up in my bs okay i feel like this person does place you on a pedestal aquarius so it's almost like they don't want you to feel any kind of way. They don't want you to, they, they don't want to hurt you. It's almost like they, I don't know how, they, they're, they're trying to treat you very delicately and fragilely because, and that's why they stay away from you, Aquarius, because they know that they're in a situation that they got to get out of with the strength card, okay? This may have been something that started off very, very passionate. You, you guys move very fast, okay? There was a lot of infatuation. Maybe you didn't see these red flags at first, okay? They could be long distance. This person may have a fear of change. They have a fear to take a new leap of faith, to be with you, to go where their heart truly desires, okay? Um, and until they get rid of that fear, until they stop, they get out of this complacent, settling mentality, Aquarius, there's not much you can do, obviously, right? You got to help yourself. Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse. They may have children with this person, um, and they feel bad about breaking up their family, okay? They're trying to keep up the charade, the looks, okay? We're happy, but we're really not. Um, it's not a stable relationship. If they are in a relationship, it's not stable, Okay? For some of you out there, if this is your partner, be very careful because this person may be with you and they may be settling for you when their heart is somewhere else. So be very careful, Aquarius. Listen to your intuition, okay? Ten of Pentacles reverse. They are pretending, Aquarius. They are pretending to love this person. They are pretending to be invested in this person, but they are not. They're living a lie okay they're living a lie with the magician reverse this could be a virgo they're living a lie okay because behind all of this that they're showing you they're they're really in a lot of regret because they're still looking back with you they're looking back at what they lost which is you um they want you okay um with the five of cups here all right and you're feeling a loss. You're feeling sad because you want to go to the next level with this person, but you guys are not on the same page. Some of you, this may just be somebody who, you know, has a fear of giving up their independence, has a fear of, you know, um, being tied down and losing their, their freedom. Okay, you could be dealing with someone like that, Aquarius, all right? So let us clarify. So we need to be crystal clear that this person is not in love with this other person, okay? But there's a reason why they're sticking around. Maybe someone's pregnant. I hate to say shit like that. But hey, tarot and love, all these situations, it's not always so black and white. Um, shit can be complicated and it is what it is, okay? That's why tarot exists. All right. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And Aquarius, this is not to say at all in any kind of way that you need to deal with this person or wait on them. No. You're going to have a lot of options, Okay. And you can move forward whenever you want to with the Six of Wands, okay? A lot of people are going to have their eye on you. So you don't got to wait for this person, okay? 
Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. That's going to be their loss. And they know they're going to lose you, which what, which is what makes them even more sad. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, they got to leave. Three of Wands, see, they, they, <laughs> they got to leave with the tower, okay? They're realizing this. Like, wow, if I don't leave this person, I'm going to lose Aquarius. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. They can feel it. They can feel that you're going to walk away. Yeah. You see, you're just like, you know what? How how can I trust that there's going to be change and movement here? How can I trust this? For some of you, you're with your partner. You're like, you know what? Is this worth it anymore? Should I get a divorce? Because you're you're avoiding me. You're detached. You're acting like you don't care. You're, you're pushing me away. And that's why. Because this person... They're in love with somebody else, Aquarius, unfortunately. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. If this is your partner, okay? See? They're trying to push you away if this is your partner because they love someone else. Two of Cups. Clarifies the Seven of Wands. For others of you, they are pushing their person away because they love you. Okay? So this person could feel the disconnect. Okay? Okay? <laughs> This person could feel the disconnect. They feel like you're their soulmate. What is this Queen of Swords? Yeah, you're not with the mind games. You're not with the charades. You're not going to get involved in this drama for some of you, okay? What is this Seven of Swords about? Yeah, you see, this person doesn't want to have to live a lie anymore. They're in, they're, they're, this is a nightmare for them. Some of them, they could be dependent financially on this person. They're living a lie. They don't love this person. Knight of Cups is in the reverse. They don't, it's unrequited. It's unrequited. What is the Empress? And you probably feel a lot of regret for investing your emotions for some of you. Yeah, see, they got to detach. They got to detach from this devil energy. Whatever they're at, it's, it's. So the more that they stay where they are, the more that it's like they're getting obsessed with you, Aquarius. They're watching you. They want to close this chapter so bad. They, they want to be with you, Aquarius. This is how they feel about you. They're very passionate about you. They're in a very unstable situation and they're living a lie. <laughs> oh my God, the funniest reading that I've ever had. <clears throat> All right, let's see what this, 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 this what this person wants to say. Ooh, child. Some of you are like, my partner doesn't feel very committed to me, and that's why. Because they love someone else. They're having affairs. What does this person want to say to Aquarius? What does this person want to say to Aquarius, please? Aquarius. What does this person want to tell Aquarius? So I feel like someone on this receiving end is like, wow, I'm in love with this person and they're fucking involved. Let me love you. I will love you the right way. I will give you the love that you want, but I can't save you. You got to get out. Shit. I want to talk in person. What does this person want to say to Aquarius? They want to talk in person. Maybe they can't really text you all the time because they're, they're nasty. Karmic is always around. So... And if they're depending on this person in some way, damn motherfucker don't want to get kicked out. So they block you. They try not to talk to you. Maybe they would want to just meet up in person and talk. I overthink everything. I want to protect and provide for you. Wow. So you masculines out there, if you're dealing with, let's say, a, fem a female or something, um, you know, you might want this person to get out of this toxic relationship to come be with you. And you're willing to protect and provide for this person. Some of you, right? Yeah. I, wow. We're twin flames. We're twin flame. No one can take your place. Aquarius, I am non-committal. I feel like they're not committed to this relationship that they're in. Or if this is your partner, they're not really committed to you, unfortunately. You have, you are so beautiful. You mean everything to me. So you are their everything. Bottom of the deck, Aquarius, is I will make you mine. It's only a matter of time before they make you there, Aquarius. <laughs> See, I will take you from them. I will make you mine. 
anyway Aquarius so that's what we have this was a very interesting reading guys um this person's living a lie anyway love you guys see you guys next time